We begin tonight on an intense scene in Wyoming where a standoff with a man who once held hostages has now gone on for several hours. The latest tonight, the hostages are free, but the suspect is refusing to come out, keeping police in standoff mode at one of the area's largest apartment complexes tonight. Late this evening, a surge of activity at that scene. Police telling us that that is part of the tactical operations. Since then, though, police have kept their posture. They remain in place. On top of what's happening here, police say their suspect is also a person of interest in a double death investigation where two people were found shot dead in Cedar Springs this morning. The two investigations have law enforcement resources on opposite sides of Kent County tonight working on these cases. 24-hour News 8's Barton Dieters has been at both scenes for us. He's live now to bring us up to speed on what's happening in Wyoming. Barton, to you. Well, right, Leon, this section of Ramblewood Apartments has been shut down and locked down for since early this afternoon, but this all began about 12 hours ago about 40 miles from here north of Cedar Springs. Police were called there after a friend and relative found a person dead in the home surrounded by farmland. Police obtained a warrant and then found a man and a woman believed to be in their late 50s dead in the house, but police have not identified the victims. Also found there, the, the dog who was also killed. Within a couple of hours, police came here looking for a person of interest. What they found was a man refusing to come out and holding a woman and two small children hostage. Police were soon able to secure the release of the hostages safely. But for the last several hours, police have been using bullhorns to persuade the, persuade the man to surrender. Periodic pops and booms have been heard throughout the day that climax with the explosion of a concussion device that people watching could feel in their chests. Since then, nothing, as police continue to come in and out of the building, carrying equipment and bringing dogs in. Neighbors here hope this ends soon. I'm hoping for a positive outcome, definitely. Um, I heard that there was hostages and they're about, they've all been released, so definitely hoping that everybody comes out, even the person that's a suspect at the moment, hoping for uh, him to come out safe and just justice is served. You want things to return to normal? I definitely. I definitely want my, uh, my neighborhood to return back to normal. Well, police continue to, to be active here. They're going in and out of the building, up and down the stairs. But you have to wonder at this point whether the suspect is still alive, but we have no indication one way or the other. We also don't know what his relationship was to the victims. Live in Wyoming, Barton Dieters, 24-Hour News 8.